Well, hello, Louise. It's so Hi, good. Hi, Dana. From afar. So I am excited because we have an opportunity to highlight some of our alums. And thank you so much for agreeing to be with us. So we just have a few questions. So the first is, please give us your name and your HP class year. I'm Louise Hewlett Butler, and I'm a proud member of the class of 1980. And we're celebrating 40 years this year. Wonderful. Well, we are excited because, as you saw, we are going to postpone Alumni Weekend, but it will be in October. So hopefully uh, we can see you back on campus. I can't wait. Wonderful. So please tell us your title, your company, and your responsibilities. So I'm currently the global head of beauty for Amway Brands. And what that and I'm out of New York City. And what that entails is that I lead all of the global product innovation or new product development for our beauty business, which encompasses color cosmetics, personal care, and fragrance business for the for uh, Amway. And that is about a billion dollars of uh, business that I'm responsible for for Amway. Wonderful. So you're working from home now. So please share with us your top three tips for working from home. Yeah, so, you know, before the whole virus situation, I had been working from home a little bit off and on because I commute um, from Wilmington to New York City. My, my office is actually in New York, um, but Wilmington's about two hours away. And so I'm on an Amtrak train every day. So I would tend to try to work from home at least one day a week, which is a little different from somebody saying every day you have to work from home. But having said that, I had already started to establish some rules of the road, if you say, of how to work productively as I would have already shared with my team. And one of them is establishing uh, a routine. And by that, it's just to say, because you're at home, it doesn't mean that you kind of flop around and in your, in your pajamas and kind of doing your own thing and being with your dog or your pet. Like you have to kind of just set it up to say, here's my workspace. I'm gonna take my shower, I'm gonna do my hair. Um, if you don't wanna put on makeup, that's okay, but like, at least kind of get your kind of personal care together and put on some kind of a wardrobe whereby you can, do be, you can do meetings with people where you look professional so that you're not looking like you're kind of not taking things seriously. So I just think that kind of getting into a routine is very important. And then I would say secondarily, um, being able to, um, have some time where you are kind of um, taking some time for yourself, uh, where, whether it's like you take a break for lunch or you're uh, walking your dog or you're cooking dinner for your family, but that's a part of the routine too, um, of you know knowing that your day is kind of interesting and it's a little bit different than when you're with people. Um, but being able to do that, I think is important so that you're not just nine to five in front of the screen because it gets to be a lot where you're taking meeting after meetings. I mean, yesterday for myself, I had eight meetings during the day from like seven in the morning until 9 p.m. at night. And, and it's hard, you know, your, 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 your mind can kind of get into overload. So being able to take some time where you're doing something for yourself, I think is important. But then I also think that lastly, um, recording what you're doing and being able to share with your team so or you know if you work in a small environment and you have a few direct reports or you have colleagues being with them try to figure out a way like we're doing now we're doing a zoom and i'm seeing your face doing that with people we have like teams or we have skype and you're seeing faces trying to see each other it's really important you feel that connectivity right. with people um, because we are a community, you know, we're human beings and touching people might not be a, an ability that we have right now, but being with each other virtually is actually something that I think is spiritually uplifting and it helps you to feel like, okay, I'm not in this by myself. I'm not, I'm not segregated. I'm not alone. Um, and I'm actually doing good work. So I would say that those are the three things that I feel have been important for keeping me productive. Great. And then finally, what is your tip for self-care during this time? I would say the big one, especially being a beauty girl. Um, so we're doing a lot of anti-back, right? Everybody's washing hands, right? And they are using hand gels. And of course, that is exactly what you should do. And you should do it often. And you should suds too. 
when you're using, doing, doing that just as a uh, sidebar, you need to suds up when you're doing that as a, when you're washing, make sure you get that in. But afterwards, your skin is dry. And so to me, one of the biggest things we can be doing for our hands is hand cream. Use a hand cream to make sure you're moisturized because the anti-back and the washing takes the surface level of our bacteria off for a good reason. It takes the bad bacteria, but it also takes the good. And so what you want is the good to come back and that comes back from moisturizing a hand cream. The other piece that I would say is, I know this sounds a little odd, but I like foot care, especially as I've gotten older. Um, when your feet are feeling bad, you actually have more fatigue in your body mm -hmm. because as you're walking, you're feeling bad, your feet, if they're not feeling good, it adds up into your back and into your knees and into your whole body. So getting into like a, say a foot bath at night, you don't have to do it every night. Doing, your, doing a little do yourself foot bath. I know a lot of us are used to doing a pedicure at a place right now, but if we can't get to a place, you can do a foot soak at home and then you can do a nice, you know, little foot cream to just give yourself a little boost. And you will not believe how much better you'll feel from an energized perspective after doing that for your hands and feet. I love it. I, I know what I'm going to do this evening. <laughs> Good. Do it. You can do it with you and your husband. There you go. There you go. Well, thank you, Louise, so much. We appreciate it. Thank you for those tips. And we wish you well and stay healthy. Can't wait to see you in October in Cleveland. Wonderful.